What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Reaction Channel. <sighs> Darnell Rogers versus J. Lou. This is a crazy matchup in itself. The video is going absolutely berserk. It's at 200K views in 19 hours. So on their end, it's probably at like 250K. This video might get up towards a mil at some point in the next week or so, which is crazy. Uh, in the basketball YouTube space, it's been a little while since people are touching those numbers. But I say that to say... The next chapter is on the verge of reaching a new height. With that being said, we're here to react to J. Lou and Darnell Rogers. I saw both of these guys on draft day. Darnell Rogers is a problem. A problem. He's like 5'1". It's it's unreal to watch. Let's get into this video, though. Turn this down a little bit. All right, all right. I gotta skip the intro. I gotta skip it. So back backstory, Darnell Rogers, he's probably closer to my age, but I used to watch him on Fall His Life would post them, uh Hoop Mixtape would post them, you know, platforms because he's so small. But he played at UMBC, played a lot, you know, that's at the division one. So to be his height and get real, real minutes and be a pivotal player in the rotation, it shows you how good he's about to be. You know, uh, five foot one playing that division one. I'm, I don't know if he's five one. I really don't know. I'm just throwing that number out there. I don't know why, but he's a problem, bro. In real life, like not even in real life, he was productive at the division one level. So like, oh man, here we go. Darnell Rogers versus J. Lou. His speed is on 99. If I created a, two, a Darnell Rogers on 2K, his speed would have to be at a 99. Change of direction, insane in real life, in, in person. Shortest D1 player ever, Friga just said. Facts. J. Lou's hands, elite. This is crazy. The height difference. J. Lou's like 5'10". Tough. Tough. Oh, ref! Caught him on arm. Darnell is from Charlotte, too. He's, he, uh... <clears throat> Nice, J. Lou. Tough. It's crazy. That's that. That's J. Lou's best shot. Is that underhand extended layup? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and Darnell's defense. Oh my gosh. I know he's little. Y'all think you'll bully him? First of all, he's so strong. He's so like his lower center gravity is so powerful you can't move him like you think you're going to you might move his the top of his body but he's move he's staying still and then he's literally i saw him in the combine literally like beating people to the spot on every dribble like when they were making another move darnell was waiting there his feet are so fast so if i don't know how j lou is gonna look here but i just want it to be known darnell is an elite defender he's just five one but he's not, he's not weak. You're not going to bully him. And he's so quick on his feet. So matchup-wise for J. Lou, J. Lou kind of thrives off slower foot people, you know? And the fact that Darnell is strong, lower center gravity, too, doesn't help. So this is actually a really tough matchup for J. Lou. Um, I know a lot of people probably expect him to win it. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. After seeing both in person, I don't know. I, I would give an edge to... I don't know, bro, actually. I, if J. Lou's hitting shots, then that's OP in itself. But, oh, my gosh. Count it. Bro, He's his acceleration is crazy. We definitely need to see more of Darnell. This is his, his coming out party. Bro, that first step. Oh, he did this a lot in the combine day. 
He did this a lot, bro. He gets to that rim, he'll bump you. He gets a little space, but he does that little veer step where he pump fakes, but he's stepping. And then he does that reverse. I'm talking about, I saw him do this three times in a row to somebody. So it's just funny seeing, seeing him do it here. He's crafty around the room. He's going to get to that paint quick, and then he's crafty when he gets there. And strong, bro. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> oh, my. That would have took the roof off. That would have been crazy. They're just – this crowd, by the way, was amazing. In the, in the first game with Cam – even though that dragged on in the mat game, amazing energy. Charlotte was amazing, bro. And then this game, they're bringing it again. This is this is awesome. tough do y'all notice this though um i noticed this a lot lately J. Lou leans a lot like he's literally like sitting down here he he leans he fades away on his jumpers which is cool at times but i feel like sometimes he does it and it kind of hinders him like when he's walking into his midi i think he needs to be straight up and down if possible this is going to throw off the trajectory a little bit like left to right trajectory uh, when you fade in place, you know, and I, I think it's just maybe a reason as to why he's not shooting it as well as he may be up to his potential. Just that slight fade. I noticed it in person uh, a few days ago, like heavily. It's just it's just tougher to hit shots. Don't get me wrong. Fades are necessary in, in, in certain circumstances, but. It's going to throw things off a little bit. That's deep. Oh, okay, J. Lou. That's big. That might open it up for him here. Nice. Way to use that offhand, J. Lou. Yeah, so let me listen to this, actually. Hey, Cam is a problem. He he is a problem. He's a I like I just have to say that because it I time goes by and I don't see these guys in person. He's a problem, bro. I love I like five, woo, two, really can't like wait 11. to see what he did in season him. ten. Like four, How tall is he really though? How tall is he really? Let me see. Darnell. How tall is Darnell? Five two, he's listed at five two, so he's probably five one. I, I was probably right, <laughs> bro. You guys don't know how quick Darnell. I mean, look, 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 <laughs> bro. This man has immaculate. 
immaculate feet, bro. Like, that's the thing. He's going to press all the way up into your dribbles, and he's sliding his feet comfortably. He can stay with you at any time. Like, if I press up on someone, my feet are a little slower. So, I'm, you know, like, I'm not able to do something like this. Like, he's, like, sliding. It's, I don't know. It just makes it really tough to score on. And you think it's easy, but, like, it's not because the most important part of defense is just being able to stay with someone and get into their lower body. Tough, Darnell. He's so good around the rim, bro. He's super comfortable. He never freaks out around the rim. He's just calm. Damn! Oh, my! That was bad timing. Oh, my! Hold up. He... The sound effect. Bro, that was like... That was like how my older brother used to block me on the little goal. The sound effect is brutal. <laughs> the timing on that, on my comment. Oh, yeah, he's so comfortable around the room. Wow. Good shot, J. Lou. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, J. Lou. What the freak, bro? He's the only person that can do stuff like this. I'm telling you, Darnell would clamp most people. I'm telling you, he would, like, I'll just say for myself, he would box. I, I don't know what I would do against him. I would just have to take one dribble to a spot and try to rise up because I'm telling you, he's there. But this counter by J. Lou, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. And only J. Lou can do stuff like that. J. Lou has the best moves um, in basketball right now. J. Lou has the best moves in the world in basketball right now. I don't care what y'all say. You can't tell me anything different. He has the best moves in the world right now. He's the shiftiest players, player in the world right now. I know everybody's thinking like, oh, Kyrie and blah, blah, blah. Kyrie is just like one of the best players in the world. He, he's got like, he's got everything and he can shoot at a high level. There's so many other things that play in. Like you could have the best moves ever and not be valuable to a team, you know? So don't get it twisted. Tough, oh my gosh. I kind of like what J. Lou did here, though. He kind of almost turned and just started sprinting to the rim. And uh, and then just, like, challenged at the rim, trying to block him again. But the problem with that is Darnell is so crafty. J. Lou got up here, though. But, um, yeah. Super tough. He's just so comfortable at, at, with finishing. He's poised. Mix it up. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh, travel. But wow. <laughs> that was wild. I see why this video is going crazy. This is just two viral players. Ah, oh, that's a long two, though. Good shot. That foot behind the line, though. I feel like the way that Darnell's scoring is easier than the way J. Lou's scoring. Uh, and he's kind of... Darn oh, my gosh. Wow. That was different. Darnell's kind of like wearing on J. Lou, it feels like. 
Jelou's definitely avoiding the contact defensively, though. Like, he's, he wants to play to his length, which I, which I understand. But uh, it's not working right now. Oh, Darnell, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Mm. We need a timeout. We need a timeout, Jaylu. Use that. Kill that momentum. Come on. Nice. Bro, low key, every time J. Lou goes to the rim, it's that inside underhand scoop finish. Like, I don't know if I've seen him finish overhand, especially with the outside hand. You know what I'm saying? So if I was a defender, I would I would contest. I would just put my hand inside, period. Like, period. And then, hey, if you if you hit the overhand kind of like half hook, that's cool. But I would. J. Lou, this is like 100%. Make him finish with the overhand. I would premeditate going inside. If he started going to the rim and he was like in, in it, he already gathered, I would just go inside. I wouldn't contest outside. I don't know. Just thinking about it, I don't know if I've seen him even attempt a like half hook layup, you know? Close game, 18-17. Darnell got his first lead. He's kind of wearing on him a little bit. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. He's just so confident, man. He doesn't overthink. He plays in a good state of mind. He's just He's just taking what what J Lou's giving him. Great confidence, great shooter, bro. Great shooter. Yeah, this is this is uh It happens so fast, man. Momentum is real. Oh my, Darnell! Chill, chill, chill. Nine zero run, just like that. Eight zero run, I mean. <laughs> what they call he's so strong that is a regular play they called an offensive foul wow Wow, I, I, I'm surprised they called that. <laughs> that lower center gravity, I'm telling you. Bro, every time, that's so tough. Oh, it's buzzing in there right now. 
Oh my gosh. Let's go, J. Lou. Come on. Slip. about hitting those middies really keep walking into him he might fall for a hezzy walk in the next one give him a drop hezzy good shot Lou good shot bro way to answer walk into a midi drop hezzy the right hand right here come on Darnell's up though he's not going to be able to oh no Oh no, bro! I... He twisted his knee. Ah! That didn't look good. Anybody besides J. Lou, their knee probably would have been done. But he has—he's that. I don't know. Like J. Lou does yoga. <laughs> Tough one, tough one. Oh my gosh, bro. He's so quick. Come on. Lock in, bro. Lock in. Shout out to Grayson. Motivating J. Lou. Nice, J. Lou. Tough, tough. Good possession. That was hurt. Change of possession. There you go. Get some space. Arm ref. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. J. Lou didn't even say anything. <laughs> Gosh. Oh my gosh. Good shot. Lingering, lingering. It's hard to close out games. That's deep. Oh my gosh, J. Lou. From the volleyball line. Jeez. We got a game. Off discount when you use code TNC10 and you place your first order. What's the game plan here? He's in his space. <laughs> this has got to be game. This has got to be game. I can feel it. GG's. 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 Actually a great game. 30 to 25. Tough matchup for J. Lou, man. Tough matchup. I'm serious. People look at Darnell and see he's 5'2 and think it's like he's one of the best 1v1s that, that you'll you'll see. The utmost respect to you. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have you beating J. Lou today, and you made me a believer. And just goddamn. He's a tough competitor. He was better than what I thought. Like I know what I'm capable of, so coming out here playing against these guys. I kind of took them lightly because I ain't really, like, never seen them play before besides on YouTube. But, nah, they way better than I thought. Mm. All respect to J. Lou, though. Overall, like I mentioned during the game, you could tell it was a good matchup from the start when Darnell went on a run, then J. Lou went on a run, and then Darnell went on another run. It's all about matchups, too, run. you know? We always talk about a game of runs, but it's very – it's not so often that we get to actually see it. So – um, J. Lou thought you played a hell of a game. When I when I say that, it's all about matchups. Like J. Lou's style is very much so 
obviously like side to side shifty just you know his speed too but Dar darnell negates a lot of that he he's he's super quick on his feet he can stick with jay lou on most of his moves and just slide his feet and and you know just stay on stay in jay lou's space you know so that was just a tough matchup for jay lou in my opinion shooting real deep today talk about the game how you feel uh yeah like you said it was game of runs man uh after after half he just had a he just had a hot streak you know i know what he was capable of should have put a hand up he's a he's the shortest d2 player for a reason you d1 know? So, <laughs> my bad, my D, I, I said 5-2. I was thinking about 5-2 or D1 at the same time. But, you know, he's, I know what he's capable of. He showed it out here, and he got the best of me today. Beautiful. Beautiful. So it's up to you guys. You guys always leave comments of the players that you love to watch. Oh, yeah, Darnell. We love J. Lou. Everybody Darnell's a favorite, I feel like. Court. Mike got another one. Hey, man, Darnell, I know the people are going to love you. We love what we saw. If there's anything more. Hopefully people comment about it, but we'd love to see you back on the channel. What do you what do you got to say with your journey in basketball to get to where you got to say to any smaller guards out there like you got something? I'm sure you've probably told so many people that you've inspired. I mean, you just got to stay confident and really just stay in the gym and believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Like you can you can win every game if you believe in yourself. And that's my mindset. I believe I can win every game, so that's why I go out here and I try to win every game. I ain't never got no doubt in my mind again. Great mindset play. though. I can see it. Stuff, Throughout you know. the just the way he played, you could see his mindset. Shout out to Kicks Coop for sponsoring and subscribe to the GG's man. GG's that was a great one. Like I said, J Lou, super tough matchup. Uh, I did see him in the combine, his knee is okay, so um, I don't think anything to worry about. Probably some lingering effects, but nothing too serious. Anyways, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, drop a like on this video. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.